Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a problem based on influence line diagrams. Let us read the question one time. Two V loads of 40 kN and 20 kN spaced 4 meter apart cross a girder of 20 meter span with the 20 kN load leading. Draw the influence lines for shear force and bending moment and find the maximum bending moment and maximum positive and negative shear force at 7 meter from the left support. Also find the maximum absolute bending moment, absolute maximum positive shear force and absolute maximum negative shear force. In the question, the length of the beam is given 20 meter. Two point loads are given. These two point loads are spaced at 4 meter. These loads move from left to right. The 20 kN load is leading. We have to calculate the maximum bending moment and maximum positive and negative shear force at 7 meter from the left support. So at 7 meter from the left support, let us make a point that is the point C. In this point, first let us calculate the maximum bending moment. We know the formula for the ordinate for maximum bending moment x into L minus x by L. Here x is equal to 7 meter. The total length is 20 meter. We can apply the values inside the formula. We are getting 4.55. We have to keep any one of the load in the point C. But we have some confusion. Which load we have to keep in the point C? We have to keep 40 kN point load in the point C because it is having higher value compared to other load. Still, if you are having doubts, we can apply one formula and find out which load we have to keep in the point C. The maximum bending moment occurs under the critical load. Let us assume the 40 kN point load is the critical load because it is having higher value. First, we have to keep the 40 kN on the left of C and find out the differential loading rate. Then, we have to keep the 40 kN on the right of C. Again, we have to find the differential loading rate. If there is change in the sign of differential loading rate, our assumption is correct. If there is no change in the sign, the 40 kN is not the critical one. Then, we have to try with the other load. First, let us keep 40 kN in the left of C. You can see that I have kept 40 kN on the left of C. Now, let us calculate LR. The formula is W left by X minus W right by L minus X. On the left of C, we are having 40 kN. So, for W left, we have to apply 40. On the left of C, we are having 7 meter. So, for X, we have to apply 7. On the right of C, we are having 20 kN point load. So, for W right, we have to apply 20. On the right of C, we are having 13 meter. So, L minus 6 will be 13. Finally, we are getting a positive value. Now, let us keep 40 kN on the right of C and find out LR. You can see that I have kept 40 kN on the right of C. Now, let us calculate LR. On the left of C, there is no load. So, W left will be 0. On the right of C, we are having two loads. We have to add both of these loads. When we add, we are getting 60. Finally, we are getting a negative value. That means our assumption is correct. 40 kN is the critical load because the sign of LR changes from positive to negative. So, we have to keep 40 kN in the point C. You can see that I have kept 40 kN in the point C. We have already calculated the ordinate under the point C. 4.55. Now we have to calculate the ordinate under the point load 20 kN. For 13 meter it is 4.55. So 4.55 by 13. We need for 9 meter. So we have to multiply into 9. Finally we are getting 3.15. Now let us calculate the maximum bending moment. The formula is summation of load into ordinate. We are having two loads. We have to multiply these load values with the ordinates 40 into 4.55 plus 20 into 3.15. We are getting 245 kilonewton meter. Now let us make influence line diagram. 
for the shear force we know the formula for the ordinate for maximum positive shear force L minus X by L here L is equal to 20 meter X is equal to 7 meter finally we are getting 0 0.65 the formula for the ordinate for maximum negative shear force is equal to X by L X is equal to 7 meter the total length is 20 meter we can apply finally we are getting 0 0.35 now let us calculate the maximum positive shear force on the right side we are having positive shear force diagram on the left side we are having negative shear force diagram we are going to calculate the maximum positive shear force so we have to keep these loads above the positive shear force diagram but sometimes if we move the first load on the left side the positive shear force may increase or decrease so we have to check that let us move the 40 kN on the left of C now the 40 kN is in the point C but when we move the 40 kN on the left of C the 20 kN point load will come in the point C you can see that I have kept 40 kN on the left of C so the 20 kN point load is now in the point C now let us calculate the shear increase the formula is WD by L minus W1. In the formula, W is the total load. We are having two loads. When we add these two loads, we will get 60. D is the distance in which we have moved the load. We have moved 40 kN at the distance of 4 meter. So for D, we have to apply 4. The length of the beam, L is equal to 20 meter. We can apply that. W1 is the load which we have moved. We have moved 40 kN on the left, so we have to apply 40. Finally, we are getting a negative value. We are getting negative value, that means when we move 40 kN on the left of C, the positive shear force decreases. So, we should not keep 40 kN on the left of C, but we should keep 40 kN in the point C. That means just to right of point C, because at just to right only, we are having the positive shear force. You can see that I have kept 40 kN at just to right of point C. We have already calculated the ordinate under the point C. Now we have to calculate the ordinate under the point load 20 kN. For 13 meter, it is 0 0.65, but I need for 9 meter. So 0 0.65 by 13 into 9. I am getting 0 0.45. Now let us calculate the maximum positive shear force. We have to multiply the loads with the ordinates, then we have to add them. 40 into 0 0.65 plus 20 into 0 0.45, we are getting 35 kN. Now let us calculate the maximum negative shear force. We have to keep the loads above the negative shear force diagram. You can see that I have kept above the negative shear force diagram. Now the 20 kN point load is in the point C. But in some cases when we move this load on the right of C, the negative shear force may increase. So we have to check whether we are getting increase in negative shear force or decrease in negative shear force. So let us move the 20 kN point load on the right of C. When we move 20 kN on the right of C, the 40 kN will come in the point C. You can see that I have moved 20 kN on the right of C. Now the 40 kN point load is in the point C. Now let us calculate the shear increase. W is the total load. We are having two loads. When we add these two loads, we are getting 60. D is the distance in which we have moved the load. We have moved 20 kN at the distance of 4 meter. So for D, we have to apply 4. The length of the beam is equal to 20 meter. W1 is the load which we have moved. We have moved 20 kN. So we have to apply 20. Finally, we are getting a negative value. We are getting a negative value. That means when we move 20 kN on the right of C, the negative shear force decreases. So we should not move 20 kN on the right of C. But we should keep 20 kN in the point C. That means at just left of C because on just left of C only we are having the negative shear force diagram. 
Now I have kept 20 kN on just to the left of C. We have already calculated the ordinate under the point C, 0 0.35. Let us calculate the ordinate under the 40 kN point load. For 7 meter, it is 0 0.35, but I want for 3 meter. Finally, I am getting 0 0.15. Now let us calculate the maximum negative shear force. 40 into 0 0.15 plus 20 into 0 0.35 we are getting 13 kN now let us make ILD for absolute maximum positive shear force the maximum ordinate for the absolute maximum positive shear force will be in the left side of the beam it will be 1 let us see how it comes we know the formula for the ordinate of maximum positive shear force L minus X by L but in the point A X is equal to 0 when we apply x is equal to 0, we will get 1. Now we have to keep these two loads on the left side of the beam because on the left side we are having maximum ordinate. You can see that I have kept both of the loads on the left of the beam because on the left only we are having the maximum ordinate. But sometimes when we move the first load on the left side, the absolute shear force may increase here 40 kN is bigger than 20 kN so there is no need to move 40 kN on the left of A and check because 40 kN is higher than 20 kN so we have to keep 40 kN in the maximum ordinate now let us calculate the ordinate under the 20 kN point load for 20 meter it is 1 but I want for 16 meter I am getting 0.8 now let us calculate the absolute maximum positive shear force 40 into 1 plus 20 into 0 0.8 we are getting 56 kN now let us calculate the absolute maximum negative shear force the maximum ordinate for the absolute maximum negative shear force will be on the right side of the beam that will be 1 let us see how this 1 comes we know the formula for the ordinate of maximum negative shear force x by L. In this case x is equal to 20 meter or x is equal to L. So L by L is equal to 1. To get the absolute maximum negative shear force we have to keep these loads on the right of the beam because on the right of the beam only we are having maximum ordinate. You can see that I have kept both of the loads on the right of the beam because on the right only we are having the maximum ordinate in the maximum ordinate we are having 20 kN but 20 kN is lesser than 40 kN when we move 20 kN on the right side the 40 kN will come in the point B so that the absolute negative shear force may increase so let us move 20 kN on the right of B and check you can see that I have moved 20 kN on the right of B. Now 40 kN is in the point B. Now let us calculate the shear increase. Here W is the total load. Before moving 20 kN on the right of B, we had two loads in the beam. 40 plus 20, we will get 60. D is the distance in which we have moved the load. We have moved 20 kN at the distance of 4 meter. So for D we have to apply 4. W1 is the load which we have moved. We have moved 20 kN on the right of B. So for W1 we have to apply 20. Finally we are getting a negative value. We are getting a negative value. That means when we move 20 kN on the right of B, the absolute maximum negative shear force decreases. So we should not move 20 kN on the right of B, but we should keep 20 kN in the point B. Now let us calculate the ordinate under the 40 kN. For 20 meter it is 1, but I want for 16 meter. I am getting 0 0.8. Now let us calculate the absolute maximum negative shear force. 40 into 0 0.8 plus 20 into 1. I am getting 52 kN. Now let us calculate the maximum absolute bending moment. The maximum absolute bending moment occur under the load which is nearer to the resultant R. 
So for these two loads, there will be a resultant. We have to find the location of the resultant. So we have to find the distance of x bar. For calculating it, we are going to take moment about the point under the 40 kN load. Let us keep clockwise positive and clockwise negative. This 20 kN is acting towards the point in the clockwise direction and the distance is 4. So 20 into 4, the resultant is acting in the anti-clockwise direction towards the point. So it is negative and the distance is x bar. So minus r into x bar. For getting the resultant, we have to add both of the loads. 40 plus 20, we will get a 60. Finally, we are getting x bar is equal to 1.33 meter. We have to check which load is nearer to the resultant. Totally, we are having 4 meter. On the left side, we have found 1.33 meter. 4 minus 1.33, we are getting 2.67 meter. So, 40 kN point load is nearer to the resultant. Then, we have to calculate the center of 1.33. 1.33 by 2, we are getting 0 0.67 meter. So, this is the point we have to keep in the center of the beam. You can see that I have kept this point in the center of the beam. So, in the left of 40 kN point load, we are having 9.33 meter. On the right, we are having 10.67 meter. Now, let us calculate the maximum absolute bending moment. We know the formula for the ordinate of maximum bending moment x into L minus x by L. This ordinate we have to keep under the 40 kN point load. The length of the beam is 20 meter. The value of x is 9.33. Finally, we are getting 4.98. Now, we can calculate the ordinate under the 20 kN point load. For 10.67 meter, it is 4.98. But we need for 6.67 meter. So 4.98 by 10.67 into 6.67. We are getting 3.11. Now we can calculate the maximum absolute bending moment. 40 into 4.98. 20 into 3.11. We are getting 261.4 kN meter. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.